Hi, my name is Sylvia Layton and I live on a farm at Medla, which is on the south coast of Western Australia, about 100 kilometres northeast of Albany. And I arrived on that bit of land when I was one year old and with my parents and family we were there and cleared the, the bush block from native bushland and developed it through to a sheep farm. It was run as a sheep farm for 25 to 30 years and then it was run as a blue gum plantation company farm for another 20 years and we're just in the process of harvesting that second rotation of blue gum trees and then we have the lovely task of converting the 800 hectares of blue gum plantations back into another agricultural use. So we're just at that point right now. So lots and lots of work and we do have a really interesting challenge with climate variability showing itself quite a lot more. So on the farm it is the site where we've had the Metla rainfall or weather station for over 50 years. So we have 50 years of climate records to reference to all the time. And interestingly in 2016 and 2017 we had the two wettest consecutive years that our area has ever experienced and then just last year came in as our third driest year so we're starting to see quite a swing in the climate we're experiencing it was fascinating at the end of the terrible year of last year where most of our agricultural pasture plants droughted and we were buying in a lot of extra feed and looking at our direct seeded provenance native plantings. I was expecting them to not have done very well either and was very surprised to see in the seed that we had sown in that drought here, we had a, over a 90% success rate in its germination and survival. And it really emphasised that our native plants are highly adapted to climate variability. They've seen it for thousands of years whilst our introduced agriculture agricultural plants are quite vulnerable and if we want both components of the farm to survive wildlife preservation and our commercial parts we need to really build a lot more resilience into the agricultural side so we're really thinking about bush tucker species too in, so in those really tough years maybe there's still other uh, markets that we can tack in on and at this time they're very much, they're very small markets but maybe there's going to be an increase in that area in the future. We're really interested in regenerative farming and quite excited to see this movement. And I suppose one of those philosophies with regenerative farming is really looking at your inputs and outputs in your farming. This, we want our system to be very sustainable into the future. We feel like we're just setting up a base structure in our farm for future generations to come along and do all their clever things as they start dealing with this climate variability increase. So we'll try and do as well as we can with our knowledge base and always record and monitor. So all our decisions have transparency and people in the future can understand why we made the management decisions we did with the limited knowledge that we have at the moment.